Did you know that your food stamp benefits can buy more than just food? If you didn't, stick around because I'm going to show you. Amazon offers $5.99 per month Amazon Prime memberships for customers who receive either EBT or Medicaid benefits. Amazon Prime includes both free two-day shipping and free streaming access to thousands of titles. You'll need to verify that you receive either food stamps or Medicaid to get this incredible price. Cell phones and service are available free for both individuals and families who receive EBT benefits. Summer Food Service provides free meals for all children ages 18 and under during the summer months. Summer Food Services ensure that all families have access to consistent healthy meals all summer long. YMCA organizations typically offer discounts for low-income individuals and families. If you qualify for food stamps in your state, you may qualify for a discounted YMCA membership. Contact your local YMCA for details. Buy gift baskets. These rules are actually part of the actual federal food stamps law so they can be used in all 50 states. Fast food. Restaurants accept EBT cards in certain areas under certain circumstances. In order to use these benefits, you must meet strict criteria and live in a participating area. Plant a garden. You can buy seeds and produce bearing plants with your EBT card. In fact, it's part of the federal food stamps law. Buy groceries online. In certain states, Amazon, Safeway, ShopRite, Hy-Vee, Hearts Local Grocers, Dash's Market, and Fresh Direct can accept your EBT card for online grocery purchases. Get groceries delivered from Instacart. You can use food stamps to order groceries on Instacart. You can order them for pickup or delivery. If you qualify for food stamps, you might qualify for the following programs too. Internet for just $5 per month. I found a series of low-income internet discounts from providers like Comcast, Search to Relink, AT&T, and Cox Communications. Contact them for more information. Power companies often offer low-income discounts, payment assistance, and free weatherization assistance for low-income customers. If you qualify for food stamps, then you might qualify for some amazing savings on your power bill. Property tax exemptions may be available for both low-income seniors and disabled veterans. If you own your own home, then please check with your county for more information about these exemptions and how to apply. This benefit is retroactive in many states, so you could even receive a check for the property tax you've paid over the last two to three years. Student loans feature special repayment programs for low-income borrowers. In fact, you could pay $0 per month on your student loans and get total student loan forgiveness after 20 years of on-time payments, even if your payments are literally nothing. In Alabama, the food stamp recipients can get special perks at both farmers markets and you pick strawberry stands. In Alaska, it offers museum discounts and also has farmers markets that will double your money. You could qualify for free legal services, prescription discounts, and so much more. Arizona has some sweet discounts. You can visit the Phoenix Zoo, the IDEA Museum, the Arizona Science Center, and so many other places for $5 or less per person with your EBT card. 
in Arkansas, it has its first discounted museums for all participants and some other great discounts for EBT recipients. California boasts over 100 museums that offer admission for either free or a discounted rate. In fact, some counties even let certain recipients use their food stamp benefits at fast food restaurants. You won't want to miss the incredible benefits available in California for EBT card holders. Colorado has several museum discounts for low-income families. If you've got food stamps, then you can get an annual membership to WOW Children's Museum in Lafayette for just $10 per year. Connecticut has more than half a dozen museum discounts for low-income families. And Delaware residents who receive benefits can get discounts to some awesome programs and organizations such as Bike Delaware and the Royal Scottish Dance Society and a $10 Parks Pass. Florida offers over a dozen museums with discounted admission, including both the Museum of Science and History in Jacksonville and the Museum of Science and Industry, or MOSI, in Tampa. Georgia features over a half dozen discounted museums and destinations. You can experience the Georgia State Railroad Museum, explore the Georgia Museum of Art, and visit the Bremen for $3 or less per person with your food stamps card. Hawaii residents with SNAP benefits can get discounts to Croc Center Hawaii and so much more. Idaho residents can visit the Idaho Potato Museum for just $3 or less. Illinois boasts a stunning list of more than two dozen museums where Illinois Link cardholders can get either free or discounted admission. This list includes Shedd Aquarium and Adler Planetarium. Indiana is home to more than a dozen awesome museums that invite food stamps recipients to visit for either free or cheap. You can get an annual family pass to Minatrista for just $5 per year. Iowa has some incredible museum discounts and other benefits for low-income residents. Kansas residents can double their money at certain farmers markets, get recreational program scholarships, have price memberships to select community centers, and more. Kentucky residents can double their money at certain farmers markets, get recreational program scholarships, have program memberships to select community centers, and more. Louisiana offers museum discounts, food coop discounts, and more to residents who receive food stamp cards. Maine features museum discounts from Augusta to Waterville. Dollar matching programs are also available at certain farmers markets. Maryland offers several museum discounts and other programs for residents who receive food stamp benefits. Massachusetts boasts more than two dozen discounted museums from Acton to Worcester. You can visit the Echotarium, Stone Zoo, USS Constitution Museum, and so much more for unbelievably low prices. Michigan features around a dozen incredible museum discounts for food stamps recipients. You can visit the Michigan Science Center and so much more. Minnesota has over 30 destinations you can visit either free or cheap with your SNAP card. You can visit the Science Museum of Minnesota, the Minnesota Zoo, and so much for, for $3 or less per person. Mississippi has museum discounts and more for EBT recipients. One of my favorite deals in Mississippi is the Lime program offered by the Mississippi Market Natural Foods Co-op. Missouri offers museum discounts free college courses, and so much more for low-income SNAP recipients. 
Montana residents can visit more than a half dozen museums for free or cheap with their food stamps card. You can also receive sliding scale medical services, double dollars at farmers markets and community supported agriculture pro programs and more. Nebraska offers museum discounts including free memberships to Omaha Children's Museum, sliding scale dental services and more for food stamp recipients. Nevada residents with food stamps can participate in community-supported agriculture and more. In New Hampshire, there are several benefits for food stamp residents. And in New Jersey, they get discounts at farmers markets and more in New Jersey. New Mexico has several discounts for food stamp recipients. You can either go to Anderson Abruzzo Albuquerque International Balloon Museum or Explora Science Center for $1 per person or less. There's even more available. New York boasts an insane amount of museum discounts and discounted services for low-income New York residents. There are destinations in New York City, Western New York, and more. North Carolina has nearly a dozen discounted museums and even offers free fishing licenses to North Carolina EBT recipients. North Dakota has museum discounts, double up dollars at farmers markets and more for EBT card holders. Ohio boasts a dozen museum discounts from Akron to Mount Vernon. Visit the Center of Science and Industry in Columbus, the Holden Arboretum, and Kirkland, and so much more. Oklahoma has museum discounts and more for low-income residents. Oregon has some truly incredible EBT discounts. In Oregon, you'll find over a dozen discounted museums and zoos, zoos including the Oregon Zoo, and an unbeatable Arts for All program that provides $5 tickets to events like the Portland Ballet and the Oregon Children's Theater. Pennsylvania residents can enjoy free or cheap admission to more than 50 destinations across the state if you receive food stamp benefits in Pennsylvania. Rhode Island offers museum discounts and more for low-income residents with food stamp benefits. South Carolina residents can enjoy museum discounts and even $2 balcony seats to the South Carolina Philharmonic on certain dates. South Dakota residents can visit the South Dakota Air and Space Museum, Storybook Island, Museum of Geology, and more for free with their SNAP card. Tennessee residents can enjoy a $25 per year membership to Adventure Science Center and more. Texas has nearly a dozen discounted venues for low-income residents. From the Mayborn Complex in Waco to the Thinkery in Austin, you can visit some incredible places. Utah residents with food stamp benefits can enjoy free admission to several destinations. Vermont residents with SNAP benefits can enjoy severely reduced admissions to several destinations across the state. Virginia residents with SNAP benefits can visit more than a half dozen discounted museums and more with their food stamp cards. Washington residents with food stamp benefits can visit the Pacific Science Center for just $19 per year per family. In addition, you can save money on admission to Mopop and other great destinations. Washington, D.C. invites you to visit the International Spy Museum for just $3 per person. West Virginia residents with SNAP benefits can visit Spark Imagination and Science Center in Morgantown for free. Of course, there's even more available in this area. Wisconsin has a half a dozen discounted museums and other useful benefits for low-income individuals and families. Although Wyoming doesn't have many museums, they do have other benefits.
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you would please kindly give me a like, comment below, share with others, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell to be alerted of every time I upload a new video. Please come back to see the next one. Until then, bye for now and be blessed.